and it's been more than nine months since Maya was last seen by her sister and family. Our ABC 10 News reporter Melissa Messia is in the 10 News Live Center with a look back at the key moments in this case. Mel. And see, such a tough year for Maya's family. Of course, Maya last seen in January. Today, October 19th, investigators say they believe that Larry is responsible for her death. And there have been a lot of twists and turns leading up to today's arrest. It's been more than nine months since Chulavisa mother Maya Miliete disappeared. The last day Maya was seen or heard from by family members was on January 7th. It was the same day the family attorney says she filled out a form requesting an appointment with a divorce lawyer. Maya was reported missing from her home on Paseo Los Gatos in Chula Vista three days later. Chula Vista police officers say they searched the home and vehicles that day. A second search happened on the 11th. On the 12th, ABC 10 News heard from her husband, Larry Miliate. He said they had argued before she disappeared. We've been having, uh, you know, like problems. Maya's family hired their own attorney and investigator to look into the case. To continue to try and find what happened to Maya. That's my job. It wasn't until January 23rd that Chula Vista police actually served a search warrant at Maya's home. Then in early February, police say Larry retained a lawyer and was no longer cooperating. On February 5th, the family and police department held a joint press conference. Every week for months now, volunteers have searched multiple locations for Maya. On April 21st, Chula Vista police announced they partnered with the DA's office, the FBI and NCIS for this investigation. Family and friends celebrated Maya's 40th birthday at Fiesta Island on May 1st, praying for her safe return. Days later, they rallied outside the Chula Vista Police Department and City Hall, calling for more transparency in the investigation, saying her three children miss her. On May 5th, a temporary gun violence restraining order was issued for Larry. The order listed nine registered firearms and another 14 guns with unknown serial numbers, all legal and illegal weapons reportedly belonging to him. On May 7th, a second search warrant was executed at the Miliete home, investigators leaving the scene with a number of evidence boxes. On July 1st, Chula Vista police served another search warrant on Maya's home. On July 22nd, Larry was officially named a person of interest. In early September, newly filed court documents showed a fight over visitation rights for the Miliete's three children between Larry and his in-laws. Tuesday, October 19th, the day of Larry's arrest, the police department released an update saying they've interviewed 87 people, written 67 search warrants, and reviewed more than 130 tips on her possible location and reason for disappearance. And Chief Kennedy summed up how I think a lot of people are feeling today, that Maya's murder is a senseless tragedy. She also said a mother is gone, a family is broken. In the Live Center, I'm Melissa Masiha, ABC 10 News.